giving goes beyond just opening your closet and dashing out old clubs or things you do not need to your fellow human being in need. It is rather about giving your very best from a loving heart to your friend, to your brother, to your sister in need. That is what the church is calling us to reflect on today. The most challenging aspect of love is giving your all and your best in return for nothing. In the Gospel reading of today, Jesus praised a widow for giving her all without counting the cost. The first reading also presents a widow who shared the little she had to live on with the prophet Elijah in time of famine. The second reading presents Jesus as a high priest who offered himself as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, few capsules for our consideration. One, God is the standard. When it comes to giving, just follow the footstep of God. He gave his only begotten son that which is dear to his heart. Just follow his example, dear friend. Two, don't give what you do not need, just the best. Giving just goes beyond just dashing out your 1980s clubs or things that you do not use anymore to friends or people in need. It is all about giving your best. The widows uh, in the readings gave their very best and God gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Friend, Jesus is God's gift to us. If you want to know how much God loves us, just take a look at the gift he gave us, Jesus. For God loves the world that he gave his only begotten son. A gift could be seen as one's expression of love to the other person and God gave his only begotten son as expression of his love for us. So, what do you give God in return? The greatest gift you can give to God is giving your all. Don't be afraid to offer your very self as a living sacrifice to God. Dig deep. deep. Five, don't abuse people's generosity. Some of us abuse the generosity of those who are good to us. Jesus was angry at the religious leaders in the Gospel reading of today for abusing the generosity of love and obedience shown to them by their people. The question is, do you explore people's generosity to your advantage? Dear friend, remember it is not the amount of what you give that matters, but the heart from which it comes from. May God help us to imitate him, to give without counting the cost. Dear friend, reflect on the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi today. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. May God bless and keep you. Amen. The Lord be with you. The blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. God bless you.